we're going live. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm going to start here in about uh, a couple minutes here. Um, I'm going to share this video to my personal wall for one thing. And let some people get a chance to get in here. If you're brand new to us, if you're uh, not somebody that I know IRL or something, just uh, just um, say hi. Just say hi here, and I'll say hi back. Uh, I think our thing we're doing, uh, Jason, and I, our, our thing is uh, the highest of fives, right? So it is um, the highest of fives. So I'm gonna post as me to my wall. Can I not post to my wall? Uh, it's, it's tricky. Yeah, it's tricky. Well, come on. I just want to post this to my wall. Why can't I just post it to my wall? Um. Well, I could post it. Oh, that'd be fun. I could post it to my wife's really popular page that I'm an admin on. All right. <laughs> well, I can't figure out how to share this, unfortunately, but um, we should be live in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this blow up. Other page, so and I'm gonna add chats. All right. <laughs> There's gonna be a bit of. Well, I can't figure out how to share this. There we go. I'm muted. Uh, share to a page. Posting as me. Post it to my page. Just post it to my page. That's all I want to do. To my wall. You're asking an awful lot. All right. Well, this is why we do this. Uh, we do this right now as uh, as people who have very few people. Hey, hey, sharing a friend's timeline. <laughs> sharing out <laughs> public. It's been Dead shared to my timeline. Yet. There we go. Okay, let's see here. We might have some people show up here in a second. Might. It's an outside chance. Uh, anyway, this is uh, really spoilery that all my all my games are just displayed there. But um, I did a top 100 a while back, and so before we even get started, people who are watching this video, um, how's it going? Hopefully, I could trim some of that stuff in the beginning out. But I'm here with Jason, and uh, let me get this pop guard up so you don't have to hear me breathe through my nose the whole time. Um, say hi, Jason. I guess. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, um, Jason and I have done one episode so far. We really enjoyed doing it. And, uh, you guys have had a really good response to it. Actually, the response to this show has been as good as to any show that I've done. Um, anyway, uh, moving on here. Uh, I did one of those, I, when I did my top 100 games, I just kind of did it by feel. Like I got post-it notes out and stuck them on my board game boxes. And then I remembered, Hey, there's some games that I don't own anymore. And so I was just like, all right. Hey, Matt Yoder, how you doing? Welcome to this this chat channel uh, or video channel. I think he left already. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, there's um, one viewer right now. He's like in and out. Um, <laughs> so at any rate, uh, I did like this tool that's on like Meeple Pub or something, Pub Meeple, where you can put all your games in and then you say, I'd rather play this game or this game. And that made my ratings change a little bit. The other thing too I want to talk about is just where some games that are new to me Ended up coming into the rankings here. So, um, obviously, number one still stays Scythe. Like, that game is my all-time favorite. That's one that Jason has not played yet, and he needs to play for sure. But I don't think I've played his number one favorite game either. So, anyway, number one is Scythe still. Not a big surprise there. But this is where we start getting some new additions to it. Uh, Viticulture ends up being my number two. So that game is fairly new to me, um, but man, I love that game. It's so good. Uh, just can play so smoothly. It's the right weight. Um, the Tuscany expansion is just really good for it. Um, and you know, I'm not quite of the school of thought yet to where people would say like, uh, Tuscany is, you know, oh man, that's funny. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what's going on with, with Jason here, but I'm looking at, um, I think I lost him. I think I lost Jason. That's a funny frame it froze on him. But if he calls me back, I'll get him back on here. But um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I'm not so sure. Like he would be like, hey, I love that 
window that you have up there. Um, anyway, uh, number three is Gloomhaven, and I'm gonna go ahead and confess this one. Uh, Gloomhaven, I don't own yet. I just I don't even own it yet. But I've watched enough hours of gameplay of it and been researching it long enough that I just know it's gonna fall at around three, um, just by like rehearsing the game in my brain and just being like, hey, this is where I feel like this game's gonna end up being at. Um, and Champions of Midgard shot up quite a bit. I'm surprised by that a little bit, and I don't even have the expansions for it. And the expansions for it make it better. I know that. Um, I, I'm hoping to play with the expansions fairly soon. I, I think I may even end up blind buying Valhalla at some point because I've heard that it just almost even completes the game. Uh, Airlines Europe is one that not a lot of people know this game. Um, it's just a really excellent game. Um, I'm not even sure how I came across this one. I think I was looking at the top rated family weight games. And yeah, I noticed that, Jason, that you got booted. If you want to call me back on uh, Hangouts, I'll answer and, um, and I'll get you back in here. Airlines Europe is one that um, I was just going through the top 100 games at one point and uh, for family weight games, and it was really high. And I was like, you know what? That's a neat game. It's going to be on my radar. Well, then I went down to Gen Con ah, probably six years ago, and there's one guy there who always sells. He always, always, always sells. Um, he sells Rio Grande games at like closeout prices. And so, at any rate, he, um, let me see if I can get Jason back in here. I'm going to hang that up, maybe. Yeah, I hung up on him. If he calls me back, I'll get him back in here. Um, anyway, Air Airlines Europe uh, is one that I blind bought it at, at Gen Con six years ago because it was at that Rio Grande, like, bargain buy um, bin thing. And and so I ended up buying it, and it's an excellent game. I played it a lot, like, with my dad and whoever. And uh, my wife, everyone I played it with has really enjoyed it. It's just – the it's a perfect family weight game. Um, Summoner Wars went down, I think, a little, maybe a fuzz. Five Tribes seems like it shot up some. Great Western Trail, that's new to the list since I did my top 100. I just got this, and I actually – I'm going to be honest with this one too. I haven't played an actual game game of this yet. I've just kind of done some setup and done a few turns. Um, but just I have a real good feel for it, and it has like a cool set collection, um, Euro-type feel to it. So it's like – it's not just a dry Euro cube pusher going along a trail. It's got a little bit of a theme to it. But then also the um, the way how you're doing set collection on it is really neat. And that's and that's where – man, where did Royals end up? Royals ended up cleared on at 24. Um Royals is another one that's newer to me. It's got set collection going with it too um, that I really enjoy. Um, so at any rate, um, that's another one that I really enjoy as well. Uh, Blood Rage, that game is great. I love that game. It just plays so smoothly. And it's just what an area control game uh, And just some of the special powers and things in there are just pretty awesome. Um, my co-host still is, is out. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to get reconnected or not, but I, uh, I'm getting a couple people in here watching now. So, so hi to you. If you're in here, go ahead and interact with me on the chat there. I can see that. Uh, and if you're, if you're somebody who doesn't know what board game mechanics is, uh, the big logo on the, on the screen here, that's a podcast that I do with Jason Smith, who's in channel with me. Uh, he was in the video with me. We had him Skyped in, but then we had some kind of failure and I uh, lost him. Uh, anyway, near and far, moving our way down the list here, near and far. Uh, I don't think that one's quite as high as it was on the list. I think near and far was uh, – near and far was – hey, Brian, how you doing? Uh, good seeing you. Near and far is one that is new to the list. I Not new to the list. It's uh, new to me this year. It was it was in my top. Oh, I totally forgot to add a game to this too. So I'm gonna say right now, there's a game that is in the top ten probably that I just totally forgot to add, um, and that's Charterstone. And it's really new to me. It's new to me at Christmas time. Um, I'm not exactly sure where this one's gonna end up at because it's just so good. But I'm so early into it, and it's a legacy game. 
So the game changes a little bit every time you play it because you put, you know, a few stickers on the board and make things a little different. Um, so I, uh, oh, hey, look at this. I might be able to get my, my, my co-host in here. Because it's just so good, but I'm so early into it and it's a legacy game. So the game changes a little bit. Every time you play it. Hey, Just there you are. A few stickers on the board and make things a little okay, different. I'm back. I'm uh, back. So let's see if I can get my co-host. Uh, there he is. Awesome. Hey, I'm back. Hey. So, uh, let's see here. Now that I've got him back, how do I get my chat back? Oh, great. I just, I just can't do everything. <laughs> Sorry, I had a technical failure. Yeah. Uh, everybody who's just joining us here. Uh, hey, there I am. I see myself. Jason. Jason is uh, Jason's another another one of the hosts here on uh, Board Game Mechanics. Um, anyway, I I uh, Jason. I can't see. The, well, I can pull up my phone. I guess. Um, I have no idea what the video feed looks like right now, so I hope it looks okay still. But yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my phone up here so I can see the uh, live chats pop up. Uh, as we're talking to people here, uh, I'm, I'm just now at near and far, but I'm adding charter stone to the list. I forgot to put it in my, my sorter. I'm going to say I'd rather play oh, it than, uh, blood rage or great Western trail probably. So uh, I don't know about five tribes. Charter stone is amazing. We're two games in and it is awesome. Yeah. Uh, same thing. And I just, I had a hard time knowing where to put it exactly because, um, it does change so much from game to game. So I, I don't know where the game's going to end up at, but I can't imagine it going any lower than 20, even if it's disappointing from here on out. But it's a, it's a legacy game done for a guy like Jason, I think. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's essentially a worker placement with some box opening. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's uh, the Euro version of a legacy game. So, mm, all right. I think I can see comments now, so that's good. I'm going to kill this volume here so you guys don't have to hear it, though. All right. Uh, cool. So if you are in here and you want to talk to me, I can see your comments. Uh, we're moving on down the list here. Okay, the next game on the list here is Captain Sonar. This game is phenomenal. It would be my in my top three games if I were able to have um, – a group of eight at the ready to play it all the time. It's just hard to get a group of eight people together to play this game that love games and want to be competitive. So it's a great game though. It's a great convention game. It's a great, um, board gaming group game. Um, but it's just a really good game. Uh, I think we'll probably be a little short on having enough players to really play it. Well, this weekend, we have a big board gaming day coming up here with the weekend, Martin Luther King jr. Day weekend. Um, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Codex, that's one I don't think Jason, you know anything about really. Uh, yeah, I've heard of it. It's like magic, but you have all the cards that you're ready to yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's a two-player, just a uh, head-to-head fighting game. Ticket to Ride, I got it. Ticket to Ride, that was, I'll say it more manly. Ticket to Ride is uh, <laughs> ticket to ride. It's a ticket to ride. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's one that I've got to keep on the list. Uh, it's just got to stay there um, because it's just been such a... Just, it's just, it's been like an essential game over the years to have on my list. Um, I don't know. I've just played it so many times. I've enjoyed it so many times that I I would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't put it on there. But that's want, go ahead. Which one do you do you have regular or do you have Europe? I have regular on there at this play at this plat, uh, and I I think I just meshed all of the ticket rides together on that one, except for gotcha. I did put rails and sales separate on there. Uh, cause rails and sales feels enough different that I went ahead and made it a different game. Um, yeah, that makes sense. It's I a can lot, see that. a lot lower than regular ticket to ride though. Um, not to say it's not a good game. Uh, so, uh, I, and I, I mean, here's the other thing too. I'm seeing like conflicting information on how many people are in here and this is something that's funny. So Katie, Sandy Smith, which is Jason's wife has been doing her top 100 at night. And I know there's been times where my wife's watching, I'm watching, Jason's watching, and Kim's watching. And so there's at least four people watching, and it says there's one person watching. So I know that sometimes <laughs> yeah. it gets a little screwed up. And I know right now it says that, you know, Brian and Jason and Matt are all in here right now. Um, if you are in here, awesome. If you aren't, you aren't. It's, it's fine. Um, but if you want to interact with me, I am trying to keep an eye on the chat as best I can. And Jason can keep a better eye on the chat than I can even. So uh, moving on, though, I want to talk about 
Uh, role player is a new one to me. Uh, it's a new to the top 100. Um, it was a it was a Christmas present, and this one is if you look at number 23 there, Sagrada. It's one that um, is kicking Sagrada's butt pretty bad. I mean, like it just it's gamer Sagrada is what it is. So, um, but is it is it that much different than Sagrada really? Because I just played that again last weekend, and it was mm-hmm. it was pretty good. If you play role player, you'll be like, yeah, role player is the game that I would buy, not Sagrada. I'm guessing um, for you because role player has like an extra phase to it where you can buy like um, like do some set collection and things with like cards that you buy at a market. And then those tools that you get in Sagrada, which I, I really like, you get to use tools more often in in um, role player. But and you get a, a bunch more tools available to you. But the goals that you're going for are a lot more difficult than in Sagrada. So um, I think, um, I don't know. And, and role player is not quite as brain burning. Um, I, I, I like Sagrada better than I thought I was going to too. I mean, like Sagrada is one that um, I played it after role player and I just happened to have them both like on my like list of like, Hey, I think I want these games and ended up with both of them. And I kind of regretted having Sagrada but then I played it, and it is it is an excellent game as well. I mean, like, it's different. Sagrada feels more like a puzzle than it feels like a. Um, it feels more like a puzzle than it feels like a like dice placement thing. Like, there's more to Sagrada where it feels like you're solving something. You know what I mean? And that's kind of neat. It's a little more solitary than uh, than role player. Like role player, I'm constantly looking at like. The other people, like what cards they're buying and trying to block them and hate hate draft dice. Whereas in Sagrada, I'm not to the point yet, at least, where I can worry about other people yet. I'm like worried about myself saying, okay, I can't put anything but a five yellow in this spot. So I've got to keep my eyes open for that. So that's kind of where I'm at with those two games. You, you, uh, I didn't think you were going to think Sagrada was that great. And I thought you played it once and you were like, eh, it's meh. Yeah, I played it once before, but I was playing it with a guy who never played any games. So we just kind of rushed through it, but... The last time I played it, I played it with Katie and Kim, and uh, I don't know. It was it was much better. It was a little, it was a better experience the second time. So yeah, I dug it a little more. So would it make your? Uh, I guess you do have a top one hundred. Is it in your top one hundred? I'm pretty sure it is in my top one hundred. Yes. Yeah, I'm just not there yet. It's kind of high on my list actually, which was surprising. But what's uh, what's okay out of my top twenty here? Um, what game on there is the highest on your rankings? Uh, let me look at it. I'm browsing. I imagine this um, one's pretty high for you. No, it's not. It's not. I think actually Five Tribes is the highest of yours. Yeah. Um, that's an excellent game. It's just an excellent game. It's a yeah. little brain burning at times, but it's not bad. Yeah, uh, Champions of Midgard is in my top 10 as well. Yeah. What ha- that's what, a good one. What haven't you played in my top, in my top 20? Because I've got lots of things in your top 20 I haven't even played. Um, I haven't played your top three, yeah. number five. So Airlines Europe, Summoner Wars, Blood Rage, Great Western Trail, Near and Far. Yeah, so a lot of them. <laughs> so this is what's kind of fun is that I know you have good taste in games, and I think you trust my taste in games to a degree at least. But like we just don't have a lot of games that overlap. Sometimes it feels like so. Um, and like twenty one is Clash of Cultures now, which is dropped a ton. I think it was like number eleven on my first top one hundred. Um, but I mean like there's probably seven games that are new newish to the list. Um twenty seventeen was a really good gear for games too. Twenty seventeen, yep. twenty sixteen where I did some catching up in the last little bit here. It really was. So it really was. Anyway. Um well this was just me kinda trying to just touch base on my top one hundred, just showing you a little bit of an update since I've gotten some games that I've mentioned on the other list, but actually have them in the fold now. Um what else on here might be a little surprising? Uh, Yamatai at 38. That's That feels a little high. Um, Masquerade. I didn't have that on my list before, but I forgot about that game kind of. Uh, that's a really excellent game uh, as far as like uh, hidden identities. Social deduction is an overused phrase, but like that kind of game. Um, that's a little surprising that it's that high to me even, but it's a good game. Really good game. Um so that's that's it for this. Um, we're, how do you like these live videos? I mean, I know you can watch them later. You can watch them after the fact. Give us a thumb or the highest of fives in the comments if you want us to keep doing a little touch base live video uh, throughout the always, week. Always a high five. No thumbs. Always a high five. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
And and uh, if you're, I think I'm trying to figure out a name for the fans that are like here right now. I don't know if you guys are like wrench heads or the tools or what you guys are, but like uh, gear this, heads. Yeah, there you go, gear heads. I don't I don't know what to call you guys, <laughs> but um, you're the pit crew or something. I don't know, but like you guys are the hardcore fans that are watching right now, and uh, you'll always hold a special place in Jason and I's heart. If we even got like a hundred more fans, you guys are the first ones. Um, so thank you for being here and, and watching and uh, being supportive. And um, it is a huge deal to us at this point in, the, in this point in the development of board game mechanics that you guys be ev evangelical for us. Um, just go out there and just like share the word of the board game mechanics um, and just tell people, post it on your wall, share it wherever you can um, spam it. Because the more that we can get recognized or listened to now and subscribed to now uh, and shared, the better it's going to help us in like the optimization engines on iTunes and Google Play and different places that potentially we can grow the show. Um, and I know there's a critical time this first month here where um, you get into new and noteworthy and things like that and people can bump you up quite a bit. So. The things you can do to help us right now are get involved with the social stuff on our Facebook wall. Some of you guys have done that already. That's awesome. The other thing you can do is subscribe on, on iTunes uh, or Google Play or wherever you get your podcasts at. And then the final thing is, uh, well, two final things. Uh, leave us a rating. Uh, five stars, please. I mean, even if we're four stars, three stars, I don't care. Rate us. Um, <laughs> yeah, put, a star is good. <laughs> just one star is good. Just, just rate us. We like to get rated. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh, the final thing you can do is share it. So do some sharing for us. Uh, tell, tell people, you know, you have that like guy that likes board games at work and he won't stop talking to you. Maybe you haven't put earbuds in and listen to us. So I don't know, whatever. Um, that's it for tonight, uh, on this live video, but I think I'm going to try and do something live once a week just to kind of touch base with people and just kind of just talk about what I've been playing or what I've been thinking about in the world of board games. Um, and this has been it for me tonight. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. I got the I got the how to get Jason in the feed thing figured out, so that's good. We can keep Jason in here in the live videos too. So that is good. Hey, one more thing. We also have we also have the podcast as available on video on YouTube, oh, so you awesome. can check it out there if you want. Yeah. So if you uh, if you're at work and you don't want to use up your like cellular bandwidth, and you just want to use your like company's bandwidth. And make all the customers have slower internet connections to your company's website or whatever. Don't I guess don't really do that, but that's a possibility. I, I know that we I got an email at my previous job where they like do not listen to streaming audio because when all six hundred employees listen to streaming audio, our website crossed, goes down to a crawl. <laughs> so anyway, but if if you uh, if you want to watch us on YouTube, um, we're there. It's just it's just uh, board game mechanics over there too. I think board, look up board game mechanics. All one word board game mechanics podcast. And this is where like I'm getting some guff already from some people that board game is it is two words officially. Webster says that. Yeah, we get it. Webster. We get it. But we get it. Look at the cover of like uh a bunch of board games. And the word board game is written together like that. And I'm trying to remember what board games that are that have that on it. And it doesn't matter. It's our podcast, we can call it that if yeah, we want to. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> No, I'm going to try and post some pictures yeah. of board game boxes that say board game like this. Board game, you know? And I, <laughs> and, I, and I think we're pioneers. I think in 20 years, board game will be a compound word. So anyway, um, yeah. Yeah. that's it. Um, we will have a really nice episode for you guys next week, uh, a week from tomorrow. Um, we'll have a good episode up for you because Jason and I will have done a marathon of gaming this weekend and have some stuff to talk about. And... We have a lot of really great guests lined up for you guys. Jason's been hard at work behind the scenes here uh, doing social media stuff for us and getting some guests lined up. So there are some um, there are some guests that we are going to have on the show, our little rinky dink show that I am like, are you kidding me? That person agreed to do the show. Like I'm blown away by a couple of the people that are going to do the show. So um, it is pretty exciting. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely. So look for us to maybe even have an interview this coming week. Maybe not quite yet. Um, and then we've got some, we've got, uh, we're going to talk, uh, we're talking gateway games cause that's an obligatory early episode you have to do. Right. So true. <laughs> we're yep. talking, we're talking gateway games in this next episode, uh, this coming week. So, uh, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Even if you're not watching this live, if you comment or like, or share this video, it will, it will get to us. 
Um, if you made it this far in the video too, you get to be a part of the Easter egg group. So in the in the uh, podcast, it drives me crazy every time I listen to the podcast. I've listened to it like three times now just to kind of like, you know, do like that whole thing where you watch gameplay back. Like you tape your you tape your football game and you see how your form was, you know. So I've listened to the podcast back two, three times now. And every time I listen to it, it drives me bananas that I say that uh, Corey had four or five mechs in the middle because you only get four mechs. I think he had four <laughs> mechs and the leader in there, and that's what I was thinking. But at any rate, it drives me crazy that I'm like, that's my favorite game, but I'm going to tell you something wrong about it now. So I eh, don't know. It, it happens. It happens. It happens. That's a, that's a bumper sticker in Forrest Gump, right? So. Yep, that's true. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this now. I think I've ranted long enough. Jason, anything else? No, I'm good. I'm just pumped for the next episode of the podcast and keep your eyes out for it so you can tune in and give us some likes. Sounds good. And I will talk to you guys later. Hey, look, that's kind of cool. We have a funky black screen behind us now. Yeah, that is cool. All right. Well, we're going to stop the stream now. Thanks for watching. Uh, highest of fives for you. Yeah. High five, everyone. <laughs>